AMD's working on a new secret GPU and these new Intel processors look incredibly fast. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. So it looks like a new AMD patent was found on freepatents.com and then shared by Twitter leaker Lafrit David and then finally shared on WCCFTech.com, which of course, by the way, there will be links to all my sources in the description below. But in any case, if we take a look at this patent, it looks like AMD is finally working on an MCM type of design for a GPU, which if you don't know what MCM is, it essentially stands for multi-chip module. And what that is, is it's really similar to what they're doing with Ryzen. So if you take a look at the Ryzen chips, you'll notice that they're actually using chiplets on their biggest CPUs such as the 5900X and 5950X and the reason why they do this is because it allows them to get better bins out of the CPUs and it actually reduces the price and the way that works is because when you go ahead and you take say a silicon wafer which is what they make all of these GPUs and CPUs off of there's pretty much always a chance of getting some sort of defect so the best way to get around this is to produce smaller chips because if you do decide to make some sort of very large chip on a silicon wafer well your chance of getting a defect are much higher so this way they're able to use that design for the rise and chips and it looks like now potentially in their new upcoming either RX 6000 or even RX 8000 series of GPUs and they're able to get more profit out of their CPUs and GPUs because they're simply throwing less in the garbage so that's a really great way of doing this and you know not only is AMD looking into doing this but if you also take a look at some recent Nvidia patents I believe they also have patented a um, multi-chip module design and on top of that Intel is also working themselves on multi-chip module GPUs so it looks like this is definitely the way forward and it, it just makes a whole bunch more sense because if you take a look at Ryzen versus Intel, you can see how you know Ryzen is able to produce these very high core count CPUs, whereas Intel is not. So taking a look at say the Intel 10900K, it draws a whole bunch of power, and unfortunately it only gets up to 10 cores. Whereas if you take a look at the Ryzen 5950X, well that's a 16 core CPU and actually draws less power simply because of the way that they're able to bin these smaller chips and put two of them on a single wafer versus you know building one giant 16 core processor, which unfortunately would just be way way harder to do and so there are a, a little bit of difficulties in making a multi-chip module design so at first I was thinking you know maybe we are still a little bit uh, of a ways away from getting these multi-chip module GPU designs but you know seeing as how Intel Nvidia and AMD have now all patented MCM designs I think that we're actually a little bit closer than I originally thought so who knows maybe even the next RX 6000 series GPUs coming out you know maybe late 2021 or early 2022 could have an MCM design and we could be seeing a massive increase in the amount of shaders I mean imagine if they took say you know four smaller GPUs and built one giant one you could be looking at GPU that instead of having 5120 shaders now has 10,000 something shaders so yeah I think this is just a giant step forward and we could be seeing a huge leap in terms of performance and efficiency going forward with GPUs if they do end up getting these MCM designs in GPUs in the next one to two years and so that's very very exciting but that may not be the only exciting thing that happened this week as it turns out that a leaked Geekbench 4 benchmark of an upcoming Rocket Lake processor from Intel may have been found by Twitter leaker Tom Apisak over on Twitter. And so if we go ahead and we take a look at these benchmarks, um, you'll notice that Geekbench 4 isn't really used that often anymore. We kind of moved on to Geekbench 5. So it looks like over on videocards.com, they were able to uh, dig through some Anantech benchmarks of various other CPUs to compare it to. And what we're looking at here is the i7-11700K, and it gets a score of 7,857 for the single core score and 42,011 points for the multi-core score. Now, if we go ahead and we compare that to the recent 5800X that just launched from AMD, which is also an 8-core 16-thread processor, so you got an 8-core 16-thread versus an 8-core 16-thread um, from both Intel and AMD. It looks like the Intel part gets a 12% higher single-core score, but it actually pretty much matches the 5800X in the multi-core score. So that's a little bit interesting here because with the higher single-core score usually comes a higher multi-core score. So it looks like AMD's simultaneous multi-threading approach does seem to be a little bit more effective or just the architecture as a whole does seem to scale in terms of multi-core a little bit better and it may be just that you know these upcoming Intel processors might have a very high single core boost that may only be able to be effectively utilized for a short period of time or maybe if you're using a lot of voltage and it might actually not be able to get the same amount of clock speed out of all cores so yeah it's very interesting here that we're seeing some pretty impressive scores out of this 11700k in terms of the single core performance but not so much in terms of the multi-core performance and we'll just have to wait and see 
how that translates into gaming benchmarks. But you know, either way, this is looking very, very impressive. And this is actually a little bit better than I was expecting. In fact, I was expecting probably 8% higher single core performance out of the 11700K versus the 5800X. So yeah, this is looking really good. And the way things are going right now, Intel might actually only be your only option going forward into 2021 if the stock issues continue to persist in terms of the GPU demand being so high and the supply being so low. And, and on top of that, the new Ryzen 5000 series processors, also the supply seems to be pretty low there and the demand is really, really high. So yeah, hopefully these Intel processors are going to be really, really good because a lot of you might actually have no other choice but to go with Intel. But hey, that's just what I think. What do you think about these leaked MCM designs? Do you think we'll see them in the next generation of Radeon products? Or do you think that we're still a few years away? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and Nvidia get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.